we are getting started on the day. And we're gonna talk about a little something that I never thought about before starting this new job and having access to a Roth 401k. So, we're gonna add a little cinnamon. And for the first time in my career, is this cinnamon? Yeah. I am asking myself which makes the most sense for me. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Danielle. I make videos on my journey to financial independence, how I'm trying to reach financial independence while also enjoying my life along the way, not burning myself out, working and saving 80% just to hate my life for the next 10 years. Um, and also thinking about it from like a sustainability lens and how much I'm consuming as a person and adding into this world. So if that stuff interests you, then hit the subscribe button. Before I start today's video talking about now that I have access to a Roth 401k, and traditional 401k, like before we get into all that, I want to kind of just give you a quick definition of what is a 401k, because I feel like people get tripped up. And a 401k is simply a retirement account that you could get access to through an employer. So it's an employer sponsored retirement account. It is not the investment itself. It is the account that holds the investments. So when people, you know, if, if you hear someone say, yeah, I invest in my 401k, I invest like through the 401k account, but I'm buying actual investments that sit within that account. I wanted to jump into kind of what are some of the things that I needed to understand about the differences between a traditional 401k and a Roth 401k for me to feel like I'm making the best decision for myself next year. So I made a spreadsheet, of course. What are the differences? I am most familiar with a traditional 401k because it's what I've had access to since um, I've had access to a 401k, right? I've only been given access to traditional 401ks. This job is the first time I'm getting access to a Roth 401k. I'm most familiar with the traditional 401k model. So how is it taxed? A traditional 401k is using pre-tax dollars for your contributions, which lowers and reduces your taxable income. But on the other hand, when you go and withdraw the money at retirement, you have to pay taxes on that money. And that'll depend on what your income is at that level, right? And so you don't get taxed on it today, but when you go to withdraw money, you do have to pay tax on that. Roth 401k. You pay taxes today, so this is using post-tax dollars, and when you're ready to withdraw, it's tax-free because you already paid the taxes when you contributed, right? It is investing the post-tax dollars. The next thing I looked at is, are there any differences in how you can withdraw this money? And so for the traditional 401k, I didn't know this, but also I don't think that I'm gonna have a problem, <laughs> you know, not wanting to withdraw from this account at age 73. But for a traditional 401k, you need to start actually taking withdrawals. This is what they call a required minimum distribution. And so you need to at least start taking money from this account at age 73. You can't, you know, decide, hey, I don't wanna take money until I'm 80. I don't know why you would f need to, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm not thinking about it and it's something else I need to explore, but. I don't feel like I'd have a problem not wanting to take money out of that before 73. For a Roth 401k, you need to have the account for at least five years before you can start withdrawing from it, but there are no required minimum distributions. If you're starting early, like I am at age, I'd be 31 when I start contributing to this Roth 401k, then I will have no problem meeting that five-year requirement, right? Because I'm not gonna start withdrawing money at 35 or 36. This would be something you wanna think about if you are starting this later and closer to that time when you'd want to withdraw money from this account. Withdrawal without penalties. So both of these accounts, 
you have to be of a certain age to be able to withdraw without any penalties. Of course, there are exceptions to both, but if you're not qualified for one of those exceptions, then at least you need to be 59 and a half years old. That's when you're able to withdraw without any penalties for early withdrawal. So that's something that you wanna think about. Early withdrawal is withdrawal. Why does that sound weird? Early withdrawal if you are planning on taking money out of this account before that 59 and a half years old. The other thing I wanted to look at was the employer match. My company does not offer an employee match, but they do contribute, right? So I think it's like $700 that they give you for contributing to your account. It's not a match that you hit a certain level. Um, actually, I should probably double check it because I don't know if it's that I have to invest a certain amount or they just contribute it regardless. But the thing to know about both of these accounts is any match, any employer contribution that they're making is going to be pre-tax dollars. So if I decide to open my Roth 401k in 2025, that employer contribution and employer match is gonna still remain pre-tax. Considerations. So I wanted to understand what do I need to think about if I'm thinking about making a decision between a traditional 401k and a Roth 401k. My goals. You need to think about your goals because with a traditional 401k, you are gonna have more money in your pocket because you're getting tax on less. Your paychecks are gonna be bigger. For a Roth 401k, you have less money on a monthly basis because you are paying tax on your full income and then you're contributing to that account. And so when I think about my personal goals in the next year, when I'm thinking about 2025 and what I wanna do, like having more money in my paycheck is fine. It's right now for 2024, it was necessary because we hadn't had income coming in for 11 months. And so I wanted to have as much of my money as possible. But when I think about 2025, I'm like, life is only gonna get more expensive when we buy a house, when we have kids. So right now, let me just take advantage of the fact that I don't have that large overhead and I could do without the extra 200, 400, a month. So thinking about your goals is important in this because you have to think, am I trying to save for a house? Am I needing that extra hundreds of dollars, however much it's gonna be for you, for my kids' daycare or, or you know, what is happening in your life? And for us, I think um, we don't need to be too concerned about getting the most from our paycheck yet because we don't have that high overhead. So thinking about your goals. Um, with the 401k, having less month on a monthly basis, we're willing to do that because at the end of the day, and I guess this goes into my next point of consideration, current tax situation. Do you expect to be at a different tax bracket when you go and withdraw the money? And is that tax bracket higher than the one you're in now? Or is it lower? I'm at the point in my career where I'm like, I can only go up from here. Like, like we are just getting started on the earnings potential and there is a lot of way to go. And so I know that we will be in a higher tax bracket when we get to that stage of wanting to withdraw the money. And so because of that, the Roth 401k makes sense because I'm paying the taxes on it today in my lower tax bracket than I would be when I'm in a higher tax bracket at retirement. So those are the two considerations that I've taken into account when deciding. But this leads to the math that I did, right? I wanted to understand what is my paycheck actually gonna look like on a monthly basis if it's a traditional, versus a Roth 401k. And so I wanted to do the math to kind of understand what are we talking about here in terms of numbers. I also put in the tax brackets to understand where I am right now. 
and how that might change. So first let's talk about tax brackets, right? My partner and I file married filing jointly, right? And based on our income, what we hope would be our income in 2025, we're looking to be at the 22% tax bracket. At retirement, I hope to be at 35 or 37%. So what that looks like on a monthly basis and how I was trying to understand it in terms of making this decision was thinking about it as the monthly paycheck that I'd receive. So the first one is the Roth 401k. I This is estimated an assumption. So the assumption I'm making here is that 401k contribution limit will be $24,000. We don't know what it is because it doesn't get announced until later this fall, but this year it was 23. It's possible that next year it'll be 23,500. It's possible that it's 24,000. To make the math easier for me, I said, let's just, just, let's just say it's 24,000 and what that means for me to be able to max that out, which is my goal, is that I need to contribute 2,000 a month. Just easy math, right? 24 divided by 12, 2,000. If my my income post-tax is 7,213, which based on how I was paid in the first month of my, my job, when I wasn't contributing to anything, that's what it was. If that's the case, then my take home is gonna be about 40, about 5,200. Now, if I'm looking at the traditional 401k model, I had to play around to kind of understand what this could be, but the monthly contribution is still gonna be 2,000. The income after I contribute the 2,000 would be 57. I How did I do this math? Literally just looking at my pay, my pay stubs. So there was a paycheck where I contributed 1,900 to my 401k. And so, in order to kind of come up with this number, I said, okay, I contributed 1,900 for this paycheck and this is what I got. Let's subtract 900 from that because I'd be contributing 1,000 per paycheck, not 1,900. And let's multiply that by two for two paychecks. So that's how I came up with this number. It's not an exact, which is why it's an estimated, but we can see that I actually, like it's been said, I take home more with a traditional 401k than I would with investing in a Roth 401k. And let me update that so it's clear that we're talking about a Roth 401k. So there's a $500 give or take difference there. So when I think about that $500 difference, I'm thinking about it in like for the goals that we have, the money goals that we have, the $500 is not nothing. It's definitely something that could help us reach some goals faster. But given the fact that our tax situation would be better or higher when we're ready to withdraw the money, I I vote Roth 401k for myself, myself and my situation. Why not take advantage of the fact that I could pay the taxes now while I'm in a lower tax bracket than when I'm in a higher one later in my life. This is kind of how I'm thinking about it for my 2025 401k, because if you've been following for a while, you know that my goal this year in 2024 is to max out my traditional 401k. Because it has made a difference for us to have more cash now coming from the paychecks because we weren't working for such a long time because my partner wasn't working until last month. And so we needed to have more of that cash on hand. But in 2025, that won't really be the case. And so it gives us the opportunity to have and think about which one makes sense for us and our goals. All of that to say is this is all a personal approach. No one on the internet will know your specific situation, run the numbers, understand what your tax situation is, understand what your goals are. And if you have access to a traditional and a Roth 401k, I feel like we're, 
unicorns. Maybe it's not as rare as I think it is, but because I haven't had access to a Roth 401k, it feels rare, but I'm excited to have these new things to think about on my journey to financial independence. That's what works for me. That's what I'm thinking about when I'm trying to decide on which of the two. Hopefully this was helpful in just getting you to think about all the different considerations you, you should take into account. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all soon. I have a vlog coming out, so stay tuned for that and have a good rest of your week.